Hey guys, this is Prati Kamasani and today I'm going to talk about how I designed a radial bar chart in Power BI using Chart Creator. So the radial bar chart is nothing but a bar chart which is plotted on a polar coordinates. So just like a bar chart, radial bar chart is also used for the comparisons. However, when you're doing the comparisons, it is recommended to use the actual bar chart than the radial bar chart because in in the radial bar chart, even though if you are showing the same value, the outer bar is always longer than the inner bar. So well, if there are no labels and if there are no data points talking about what value you are actually showing, then a user can misinterpret the data. So most of the times when the radial bar chart is used for the database, it's more for aesthetics reasons than comparisons i mean like you can still compare it does show the comparisons but it can be misinterpreted so you have to be mindful when you're using the radial bar chart so the reason behind me wanting to do a radial bar chart instead of using a regular bar chart for this example is because i saw an instagram post so I saw this Instagram post and then it looked really interesting and I really wanted to do this in a, in a radial bar chart because it, I've tried creating radial mimic the look in the Power BI before. So if I click here, so this is looks like a radial bar chart. However, I don't have labels and things, but I tried showing the labels on the side. But um, I wanted to try something different and that's when I came across, well, I came across Chartigulator. Chartigulator has been there for a very long time. It's, it was created by Microsoft Research. So it was available as a separate website where you could import some sample data and you could create your visuals. After that, you could export it into various format, including Power BI custom visual. Once you export that in using Power BI custom visual, then you could import that Power BI custom visual into Power BI and you could start using it. So that's what I've done here. These are some of my examples that I've tried before where I created a chart calculator using the website. But now you could actually download a chart calculator from Power BI Visuals repository. So once you add the Power BI chart calculator visual into your Power BI model, and that's what it is before we start looking into how i design the visual let's look at quickly look at the data so for the data here what i have here is i have most of this data coming from wikipedia i have a three i added rank and then i filtered to show only top 10. so for this visual uh, only important things I, i'm interested in is company revenue and fiscal year so those are the two, three columns that I'm interested in to create my visual. So for that reason, I'm going to go back here and um, I'm going to add a table. To that, I'm going to add my three columns, company, fiscal year, and revenue. So these are the three columns I want to work with. Once I'm happy with the columns I wanted, then I change that visual into a chart calculator because all those columns are actually are my data columns, not links or tooltips. So I'll just move everything into data. Then I move, chain, click on edit. And here I could either create a chart or import a template. So I'm not going to talk about uh, how to use templates or everything about the Microsoft Chart Calculator. You could just go to Microsoft Chart Calculator docs and you will find all the information over here. But here I'm going to start creating a chart. Okay, I'll start by adding a rectangle. So I'll add a rectangle to my glyph. And to this, I want to control the width of this rectangle by using the revenue. So I'll drag and drop the revenue there. And then I want to control the color by using the company. So this is the problem I find when I compare this with the, with the website is on the website, I have a lot more data. I mean, a lot more space to work with than I have in the Power BI model. 
but um, yeah it's probably not a big problem so I'll just close that one for now and for the fill I want to fill the color based on my company so there you go as you could see already says some action happening here I want to change my visual to a polar so once I have the polar I could just drag and drop this one over here as you can see the my visual changed into a polar I just want to change that into grid actually not the grid stack radial so as you could already see the vis is looking like it's already plotted so to this one now what I'm going to do is I want to change the angle both the angles to zero so my visual always starts here then to my visual I want to add the company name as a label so for that I'm going to add a text and just click on that border and I'm going to add company as my text so that adds the text I'm going to just reduce the size to 8 then I also want to add the the revenue value so I'm just gonna drag add one more text then change that into revenue don't worry about the visual shaping itself into every possible direction I'll come back to that in a sec so basically what I've done is again let me change the size to 8 I will just rename this to revenue and the other one to company didn't enter and company I also want to change the color so just click here change to white and also the same thing with the other one I want to change this to white I could add some background here just so that I could read my labels let's go something darker and I have a visual so now what I want is I want to control the width of my shape so the height well not width height I want to change that into like 15 so that I have I could actually see them and I also want to control the the scale so here when i click on the width the range is auto so this one because i do know the values of my data i'm going to change that into 350. so now my data looks a bit better and i also change this one to instead of average i'm going to change that into some and then I'm also going to change the sorting by revenue. As you can see, my visual is almost there. So now what I want to do is actually work with this visual a bit better. First of all, I want to decide what is the size I want to keep my visual. As you can see, my visual, if I add a border to this visual, just click somewhere as you can see the border is all the way here but my visual is just up to here so let's try to fix that first so I don't want to keep my visual this wide probably just keep up to here so let me go here check my actual width and height let's change this to 1000 and height 700 or maybe let's change width to 1200 and 700 so you could see the difference 1200 700 try to remember now i go here this is where i'm going to enter that 1200 and 700 let's click save go back to report as you can see that problem is kind of sorted out so the next one I wanted to see is, is the position of my labels. 
So I want to have all my titles to actually my basically my visual to start at zero. That's not happening. So to fix that, I go to my plot segment and make sure I apply reapply the angle zero and zero and then save go back to report so that goes that kind of gives me what i want is where it all starts at zero so the next thing is i want to see some gap between each of this bar so let's go and fix that so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on my plot segment then change my inner radius so at the moment it's 0.5 it's basically just try different things and see which one works. So now it looks 0.2, which is good. And I can see some gap. If I go back to my report, as you could see, that is fixed. So again, this is something I really like having a visual in Power BI than actually creating in, in a website, in the Chartigulator website is having here you i could actually like you know i could switch back and see, immediately see how my visual is is behaving instead of importing a, a power bi custom visual like a million times so this is definitely really useful okay the next thing i want to do is i want to to fix the label position so go back here now maybe I should change my label color to something actually I could see. So that's a bit better. What I want here is I want my label to be right next to the bar like this. And I wanted it to be in the center like that. And I want to do the same thing with the revenue as well. This time I want it to anchor outside again in the center. So click save back to report and there you go my report is looking almost the way i wanted it to be then i want to add fiscal year next to each of the company so i know from which year the revenue is coming from so let me go back edit and i want to add my fiscal year next to the company so this is there are various ways i could do it is like i could probably add another text box next to it but or i could just add append the text here so my trick for this is i just copy what it is there already replace that with the fiscal year so now i have fiscal year i don't want any decimal so i'm gonna remove this so i don't see the decimal value and i'm gonna append brackets to this because I want my ear to be inside the brackets. And just before that, I'm going to add my company back there. So there you go. Now I have my, my company name and the fiscal year. So I just need a little space in between. So it is a bit more visible. And that's it. So now you could see I have a little space. I could probably increase the size a tiny bit. So maybe make it 10. And if I click save and go back to report. Well, it doesn't look that great where the labels and where the company name and the revenue is mixing up. Let's fix that. I could reduce the size again. or I could change the range to 300. As you already see the difference, I could even add legend. But for some reason, I cannot see the legend position. I just don't see it. I don't know why. But uh, that's a problem for another day. So now I click save. Back to report. So you could see now it looks pretty much the way I wanted to, it to look. I would probably turn off the border and I prefer to turn off the visual header, especially because this is in preview and I don't have any tool tips or anything on it. So I'm going to turn off the visual header as well 
and um, that's that's it I have one that I've created before so in this particular one what I've done is I wanted to create it as a one pager for that I used custom page size I used 900 by 900 and my visual I've used and for my chart glitter visual I used 800 by 800 and also for the for the fill I could go and change colors of each of them so I went for a manual event and changed a couple of colors like you know I could just click on it they could choose different colors just so that all my colors actually looks nicer with that dark background I have so the other thing I've done is I used the background color here the same background color I have on my page what that gives me is when I actually go on on focus mode I can still see my visual better on top of that I added some narration on the on the left um, I could, I'll probably talk about how I created that narration in another video so for this video that's how I created radial bar chart in the power bi using the chatter visual chatter visual is fun i'm still learning there are so many things i don't know so in this learning i will be showing you all my learnings thank you